In this video, I want to look at the editing mix fader here in the upper right, continuing along the theme of controlling playback. Now, we know that we can transfer multiple files into multiple instances of Melodyne, and we can control the display and playback of them all from within one window via this section on the left here. Now, if you're not seeing this, you can hide or reveal this track list with this middle icon. So right now, I've got the lead vocal in here, and this right-hand column determines what is displayed and editable that we can work with simultaneously. So I can switch between the different tracks and work with those. And you can display multiple tracks. For example, I've got some harmony parts here. If I command click on this one, I can now view these two parts together and I see the harmony notes. I'm gonna command click to remove it. And we can shift click to enable contiguous selections of tracks. But let's go back to this and just this first track. So if I double click, in the note editor, we're going to hear just this track as we would expect. Then there's you. But there are lots of harmony parts. Let's double click here and just listen to the larger context. But then there's you. You, you know just what I need. You, you know just what I feel. So we have all of these transferred into Melodyne, but we're seeing and working with just the lead vocal. Now, when we enable these icons on the left, what we can do is visually make these available for reference. So we can't edit them, but we can see them just to know that there's something happening there. For example, here's one of the harmony parts. So I'll click on that and we see these grayed out blobs added to the display, meaning there's an indication that there's something there, but we can't edit them. However, with this fader, we can hear them. When this is in the leftmost position, we're going to hear only the editable tracks that are selected and displayed. As we move it to the center, we're going to hear these reference blobs become louder. And that's what these are referred to as referenced tracks or reference blobs as they appear here. So let's listen to that same area again, and I'll move this and we'll hear this harmony part come up in the mix. Look me in the eye, but then there's you. You, you know just what I need You, you know just what I feel So it's like a mix fader to mix in these referenced blobs. Now, when we move it further to the right, we're going to hear all the Melodyne tracks, including those that aren't displayed in the note editor. So, for example, in these areas here, I have additional harmony parts, and there's even a double lead vocal over there. And as I move it, Farther to the right, we'll hear those playback as well. In the eye, but then there's you. You, you know just what there's I need. There's the double lead. You, you know just what I feel. You, you make love and you easy. So just to summarize, when this is all the way to the left, we're going to hear only the tracks that are available for editing, meaning the ones that are selected in this right column. As we dial it towards the center, we're going to hear any referenced tracks that we have designated as reference by virtue of clicking in this left icon here in the track list. And as we move it further to the right, we're going to hear all of the additional tracks, even if they're not visually designated as being referenced blobs. I'll see you for more in the next video.